Hello, YouTubers, and all you sexy ladies who happen to watch. Alright, so, here's some Super James Pond, which is really the sequel to James Pond. Because, you know, the first James Pond was for the Sega Genesis of the consoles I can't even think of right now, so forgive me ahead of time if you know which other ones James Pond, the first one, was on. Uh, the original James Pond is when you swim around in the ocean. This you just walk around in there, you know, clear and date. Like, see, you know, this is a huge difference in comparison for these games. Um, you know, a lot of the areas are more open and bigger in this game, so you're gonna have, like, you're not gonna see similar stuff like you saw in the Genesis version. The game is really a standard of coolness, you know. And you plus you have an R in your back. That's cool alone. R for ridiculously rad. You press A to, you know, cling on the ceilings, which is really important to this game. They teach, they want you to use that to your capabilities to get around areas. I consider this game more of a level challenge based Metroid because you really can't, you know, do too much. You notice this right here compared to Luke's uh, video he just did, how the shoes are basically, you know, not where that spikes were. <laughs> But you really have to get, they don't let you do this stuff, they make you go across here and get all this other crap. So, it's like crazy cool ultimate dimension stuff. Got an apple, got some globes, you got a... Some of the cuties right here is going to be traps, which is going to be poison, so you don't touch those. Oh, wait a minute, no, that wasn't a trap this time. You mean she was 18? No, no, um... Ooh, hamburgers. I can go for one of those right about now. An angry Whopper. The only problem, though, I see versus the Sega... Oh, shoot. Sega Genesis 1 versus the... Oh, compact disc. Who knew? Um, is that there was a lag difference big time in this game and the... That's an enemy. Don't bother. You gotta collect the penguins in this one versus the other game. That's like fundamentally, you have to, you know, tag the penguin and save them. This right here is the exercise level, I guess, because after your... This right here is a hidden level, hidden area right here, too. See? You get a one-up. See? See him? That was cool, huh? I just showed you a secret area. So... I picked up this game for, I don't know, like $3 on the Super Nintendo. Not a lot of people liked it, I guess, versus the Genesis version or something, but... Either way, I think it's still good, still patent of quality at least. So I can go all the way across this map, I think, just like this. So you can skip most of that crap. I have still to this day have no clue what the hell that guy is. I think he's a glove or something. Oh, there's another glove. I thought my answers would be answered. Oh, no, no. So that's the silly wacky thing about this game, like Luke pointed out in his video, is that everything is just crazy and loopy in this game. Really. Nothing really makes that much sense. Poison. So it's like, oh, another poison. A bus of wackiness. I must went to, uh, Meineke. Why it looks so damn loopy. You push the switch down, you collect your Amiga. Because that personal computer is actually is an Amiga, believe it or not, guys. It is a Commodore. Some people are like, no, no, it's not. Oh, well, it is. That's a uh, non licensed version of a Commodore slash Amiga. Bet you didn't know that. No, I'm just making that up. I don't really know. <laughs> And someone's like, yeah, yeah, you always make up crap. What the hell? What the hell? Are, are you kidding me? What the hell was that all about? Really? Really? 
It freaked me out, the freaking the flea men from freaking Castlevania over there jumped at me. He's so cute when he goes, eh. He's always a cute character, you know, he was a cod, so that makes him even cooler. What the heck? Eh, can't do it. I don't have the testicle strength. Oh, that, that worked. Hey. <laughs> I always like this clear bonus stage, you know, not that clear. I mean, clear stage, I had him just dancing in the background. That uh, made this game even cooler. The only difference is between. Okay, where the hell's the boss? Oh, he's probably in this area then. I guess they made it more. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, that works. I guess it doesn't matter if you. Already got this item or not? You can just go back and get him again and get a ridiculous score. All right, so there's that stage. There's a lot of stages in this game. You know, this is like Santa Claus's workshop. So you got the candy, the car area. These are all really toy areas, really. Condolen condolencing towards like card themes and you know that's bosses, I guess. Like, question marks or bonuses? I'm not, I can't quite remember. I beat the Super Nintendo version a long time ago. I was going through a depressional stage, you know, people go, ooh, this pew pew, more pew pew. And, um. Oh, yeah, that was wild. But, you know, I was really going through a bad uh, psychological phase, so, you know, I played this game on loop. Yep. You can tell right now the difference, the qual different comparisons to these games. You know, you got the this teddy bear stage is a little bit more different than what Luke was playing and the Genesis were copy. Well the Mega Drive copy. I do like his copy oops. I do like his copy a heck of a lot more sometimes. Not a lot of people don't appreciate that game as much. Glad to see someone else liked it. <laughs> oh shoot. That wasn't where I wanted to jump. There was a like a way you can bump something and you got like a like one thousand over there. Uh, so far, I got a request. Oh, there you go. See, this right here does not. This covers itself well versus the Sega Genesis version. You couldn't really tell if that was, that was supposed to be a canary. It's supposed to. So you can't do the bouncing on the ceiling thing. Like you can get points for it. More badder than being a cop. Oh, yeah. I can go for a freaking one of those. You guys ever had one of those uh, hash browns from McDunkin' Donuts? Those things are awesome. They're like little hashy brown, like little crisp things. People go, oh, they're disgusting. Fine, more for me. There's a vacuum cleaner. You know, the, you know what the script thing about this game was? You cannot look at your camera downwards, though, on this. You cannot, like, zoom down, pan down, and see what's down there. Yeah, that that's what sucked about this game. <laughs> well, this copy, at least. Gingerbread Man. That was a unique version of the Gingerbread Man. So this game right here, if you have a girlfriend, you have a Super Nintendo, and you want to shut her up, buy her this game. <laughs> it's straightforward. She'll love it. Costs a couple dollars. Bam. You know, you know how women are about their pinching their pennies. Dean, you! You know, just to be like... Oh, whoops. Huh, I'm gonna die just like Luke Morris in this part. This is, a, this is like a bad omen or something. Yeah, no, don't, don't do reviews while half awake. Okay, how the heck did I get hurt again? Oh, 
I'm a sad little bear. He's just sitting there looking. Oh, he looks so sad. 